Hello and welcome. As promised, here is my first video reviewing some of the mods that I use in my uh, Let's Play gameplay um, series. I'll be going through the VODs under Environmental yes, Presets, which is EMB, Reshade and so Visual and Graphics categories. The, um, the first mod I want to show you all about. is my EMB. And this is Skyrim SE re-engaged by Fireman F. I think I say he pronounced his name. So that's a quick, quick view of his uh, the web page. It's got full introduction instructions on how to fit it, sorry. Um, this view is without the ENB, so I've just switched it off. You see it still looks quite nice, but you can chuck the ENB on and to me it just adds a whole new level of colour and richness and vibrancy to the to the world of Skyrim. I know they've got it in a lot of other games as well, like got like Fallout, Oblivions, New Vegas and so on. Um, as this is a Skyrim one, then it's a Skyrim view, isn't it? <laughs> This isn't my main character that I'm using here. This is this is Test One. Now she looks a lot like Elf Gifu from my playthrough, but I can assure you she's not. Her job is to run around and break Skyrim. Once I've modded it, sometimes she does a good job of that, and sometimes she just can't. But every time I do add a new mod, I jump on with her and just test the game, make sure I haven't broken it completely. Another mod I'm using is uh, EMV Helper which is by Ayers, A-E-R-S uh, and this is an SKC, SKSE64 plugin that enables weather systems in EMB and I use it for my uh, for my NAT weathers which I'll be showing you later on in this video I don't know, you come down here for a bit of peace and quiet showcase your mods and somebody decides they want to start chipping away at some clay with a pickaxe, thanks Sophia Oh, Danny, I just said let's have a look, let's, let's look around so I get my tongue tied without the EMB, and then I'll quickly flick it back with the EMB. Just so you can see what it looks like and the difference that this makes. I think it'll agree, it adds a lot of vibrancy, as I said earlier. Excuse the screenshots coming up in the bottom right hand corner. Uh, shift and F12 to switch the EMB on and off, and obviously F12 takes the screenshot. The next mod I'd like to show you is Ancient Lands by Kralix and this mod adds several, it says on the page, several objects in some areas to make Skyrim feel more fantasy like. This is just outside Whiterun and you see it's a massive rock formation on the road leading out. But it's just adding in bits like this which just add a bit more depth and immersion to the game and this great big statue of a man is outside Riverwood. Next one I want to show you is Lanterns of Skyrim by Manny GT. Uh, again, this just adds more to several um, lanterns around Skyrim. Uh, lights up the roads, lights up the cities, and at night time just makes it a nicer place to be. <laughs> to add to the feel of a, a living world, I've, I've added Enhanced Landscapes by Ace Q. This just improves, adds thousands of objects and improves the distance appearance of distant appearances of mountains, cliffs, and other rock formations. Uh, it does also require Dindalod to generate proper distance and tree lodge as well. Again, just adding that little that depth of feel to the game. And also, a volcanic tundra and steam heat haze by Fading Signal. Fading signal, sorry. Again, to the hot water, to the steaming, steaming pools. It has a bit of steam to it. It's, it's adding the small details into the game, which can make the biggest difference, in my opinion. Now, moving on from the landscape to the weather. The weather mod I'm using is Nat Natural and Atmospheric Tamriel uh, from LOO. It's a complete weather, lighting and visual overhaul for Skyrim. And as you can see, it's got a lot of additional settings so you can actually change in-game um, a lot of the settings to do with the weather. 
so you can see change the night time here and uh, you can change the climate settings uh, I'll just keep mine on natural and atmospheric um, and you've got inbuilt effects as well but again for my EMB it recommends just leaving it as it is uh, not using these so that's what I've done Just to add a little bit to the storms as well while we're talking about weather, I've got Storm Lightning for SSE by Shizov. Uh, it's a remake of Minty's Lightning Mods um, as an SKSC plugin. And hopefully we'll get a bit of lightning in a minute. Well, there we go, one little bit. It's not that easy to find. One of the things I do like about the NAT um, weather uh, mod is you can actually change the weather in game. However you What's want on it. Your mind? And it tells you in the top left hand corner of the map of the um, screen exactly what your weather you're changing it to. So here it's clear for the reach. I'll click on that. Uh, cloudy with aurora on the reach. And here we go, I finally found some fog. As I have the Supreme Volumetric Fog installed by Manny GT and Two's Trues. Uh, it just makes the fog more foggy <laughs> so this is one type of fog uh, which is like off rivers and that if I can get it come on yeah fog on the coast sea fog it's even thicker just to add to that feel of, of uh, not being able to see your f hand in front of your face My next mod is quite a simple one, it's uh, no snow like under the fire. roof, it adds snow to roofs and removes snow from under roofs. Again just a small little bit of detail because you wouldn't get snow under a roof, uh, but it certainly would sell on top of it. And it's all 3D snow as well. And that's by Prometheus. And while we're up here walking around in the snow it leads me quite nicely onto my next one which is Footprints by Hexabit and it just had footprints to the player, NPCs and creatures and it's got particle, particle effects as well so you can see they're not massively huge gripping footprints they're just subtle little add-ons if you like sticking with the theme of cold, snow and ice uh, I've got real ice and snow uh, installed by GR Vulture. And it's what it claims, and I believe it as well. It says it's one of the best snow mods for old rim. It's fine in SSC with update, updated meshes and textures. And it's snow looks like real snow, and icicles look like real icicles, and icicles look like real icicles. Finally, while we're in the uh, snow and icy region, where would we be without our lovely little king penguins from uh, by Kanloku? Now, I haven't tried killing these yet to see if you get organic polymer, but, and you can't talk to them, but they're penguins! Yay! I'm sure all of you that mod Skyrim use this mod, which is Realistic Water 2, uh, by Soko Teko Angel 185 Sparrow Prince. The level of detail that's added to the water, the level of realism, it just adds to the game. I mean, look at that for a view. You could almost think that was that in the wilds. And here we have a little waterfall with some salmon trying to work their way up the stream. Now, whether the salmon from a mod, I don't think so. Um, well, I think it's from the vanilla game. But again, look at the quality of that water. Look at how real that looks. Kind of on a similar vein to water, yeah, maybe, maybe not. It's cliffs. So this is Rorikstead Basalt Cliffs by JP Steel 2. And they can they add it has basalt cliffs all the way around Rorikstead, gives it a unique atmosphere, and it is actually it claims to be compatible with every Rorikstead overhaul. Now to me it's either a little bit of the Giants Causeway ball to Skyrim. Well, it's a little bit of Solstein bolt to the mainland. Uh, I'll let you decide which way you want to go with that one. But he's put the, uh, I say Hikabushi, I'm not sure. 
the uh, mod author has um, obviously put a great deal of effort to putting all these cliffs here. So well worth an install and have a look at them. The next mod I'd like to show you is Water Plants of Skyrim by Halifax0815. It basically adds realistic water plants and water grass and kelps to rivers and lakes to make them more immersive. I'm just going to watch out for this dragon. But, so this is what they add in these here. And also you may remember from the beginning of the video when it was in the uh, river outside Riverwoods. There were some there as well. When Sophia was being a pain in the butt. So it does have them all over Skyrim, not just outside Dragon's Keep. Um, I want to show you these, and it looks like I need to go and kill a dragon. So I'm going to go and do that quick, and then we can jump onto the next one. That's actually uh, White Run, and this next mod is ENB Light. Uh, adds light on grass and light uh, limited shadowed light sources and transforms a skyrim using the emv particle lights so again what just another want? little immersive mod adding an extra bit of depth to the game i generally don't show this next mod in game because i'm recording once i've jumped in but this is my main menu replace which is fantasy forest forest by dovic it requires skyrim flora overhaul for all the leaves to move which i haven't installed had to have uh, an overhaul for the lock pick. So this is Locomotion by Foggy Path. Now he's actually got four different uh, variants of lock in the one mod. This is the one that I chose. And I'm just going to quickly break into War Maidens. Oops. <laughs> this next mod takes a bit more explaining. This is uh, right. Subsurface Scattering you Shader which time, by uh, Dylan James. Something? implementation of fake subsurface scattering effect shaders to simulate skin transparency and improve well, visual it doesn't require emv or, or an emv or skac 64 uh, it's lightweight and there's no scripts so it just adds a certain amount of beauty to the game <laughs> and then we have the flip side of that which is vampire lord retextured by avik and i used this for my harkon when i when i defeated him and it's literally just a retexture of the Vampire Lord. Well, I think he looks kind of sexy. Yeah, maybe not. I think talking about vampires is also leads on nicely to the next mod, which is Enhanced Blood Textures by De Defender or D Defender. It literally just does exactly what it says on the tin and enhances all the blood textures. Gives you a bit more gore, a bit more splatter, a bit more spray. You can see little sprays coming off of it here. You get more blood splash on your character, more on the ground, more on your weapon. She didn't die in the place where she able to show you properly. Aha, bear. So you can see this bear. Yeah, the blood spray coming out, and also the droplets and that. You can have it go on your screen. Um, I'll have a look at this one. Again, just a little bit of gore. Why not? There's blood goes everywhere at the end of the day, doesn't it? <laughs> we'll finish off on something a little bit more bright and colourful than Blood and Vampires. And this is Obsidian Mountain Fox. Uh, this is by High Shut Up, <laughs> uh, Arendelle Doctor, Megaloblost. I think that's how you pronounce it. Basically this increases the uh, volumetric mountain clouds, gives depth and mystery to the mountain ranges in Skyrim. It works well if you've got um, uh, Dindalod uh, installed as well, just improves the... Uh, adds a bit of depth to the uh, to the di distance, distant views in the game. And this wraps up my first ever mod review video, I hope you, I hope you liked it. Um, all of the mods I've featured on here you can find on my Discord channel with the link below. 
uh, just hop on there and you've got all the links. I will be picked in another mod review next Wednesday. Um, I should pick some more subjects and go through them and show you what they look like in the game. So this is yeah, this is test one saying goodbye for now and I think we'll be back at the weekend with more playthrough. So thank you for watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Take care now, bye bye.